In this video, I'm gonna go over exactly how to use the Rhythmic Trader Pro app on your mobile phone, how to sign in, how to place positions, how to set orders, everything you need to know will be in this video, so make sure you stay tuned. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe because we have plenty of tools and education coming to help you on your way to becoming a profitable trader. Now, jumping over to the screen record on my phone will pop up right here. The first thing you have to do is download the Rhythmic Trader Pro app right in your app store. Once it's downloaded here and you click on it, the first thing that'll pop up is the login. How you're gonna get your login credentials is in your email. Legacy Fund of Futures will send you an email. If you scroll down towards the bottom, you will see your login, your password, the server, everything you need to know is right there. And also you can go see it right there in your dashboard. One thing that is very important is under your login credentials, you will see a link to complete your Rhythmic user agreement. You need to complete this user agreement to be able to sign into your Rhythmic account. Once you click that link, you're going to come over to here, put in the user and password, and that's going to complete the agreement to make it so that then you can actually go and sign into Rhythmic with your credentials. If not, and you don't complete the user agreement, your credentials will not work when you try to sign into Rhythmic. So if you have a problem, this could be it. If you pop back over to the login, you're gonna obviously come up here, put your login, put your password into here and press sign in. Once you sign in, you may see some different symbols on your dashboard. How you add them or get rid of them is first off, in the top right corner, you can see the little X. If you wanted to get rid of this es.cme, you could click that X and it'll disappear right off your dashboard. Why that's a pro is that if you have symbols on here that you don't usually use or that you don't trade, you can get rid of them because then you could have just the ones that you trade there ready uh, for more faster access to click on them and be able to trade. So get rid of any ones that you don't use and add ones that you do use. How you do add them to your dashboard or to your Rhythmic Trader Pro app is on the top right corner, you see the plus. If you click this plus, the thing I wanna mention is that it says enter such as APPL.Q or whatever. The reason why that's important is that you have to be able to type in the whole symbol followed by the exchange. If you don't know what the symbol of the exchange is, it won't pop up on like a drop down menu. What I did to make this easier for you guys is if you go over to the Legacy Funded Futures Discord, inside of the Discord, you're gonna see. Um, if you scroll down to education, I created a rhythmic symbol section. If you click in it, you'll see a little example followed by all the different symbols that we offer, followed by the symbol and the exchange that you type in on your Rhythmic Trader Pro app to have it pop up. So for example, if we come back over here to the to the Rhythmic Trader Pro app, you can see I already have on here ES, which is the S&P 500. We have YM, which is the Dow Jones, NQ, which is NASDAQ, and then GC, which is gold. For example, here you can see I have NASDAQ minis, but let's say I wanna trade micros. What I would do is I'd come up here to the top right, click the plus and type in M N Q dot C M E and press plus. Here you can see it pops up the bottom. I now have the exchange, but now let's say I typed in M N Q and try to press plus. You can see it doesn't pop up. You have to type in the whole exchange. So for example, let's say Y M right Y M and the exchange is C bot. So you have to come up here M Y M press plus not working, but now put dot C bot and press plus. Now you can see down here at the bottom, MYM C bot, and that's how you'd be able to trade it. If you don't understand the difference between minis or micros or how to properly risk or what contract sizes to use, we have a different video on this channel going over all that. This is just how to use the platform itself. So let's say I wanted to place a position on NASDAQ. You can see here on my screen, NQ.CME. Towards the left side of the screen, you see the blue buy sign right there, and you see the pink sell towards the right side of the screen. Let's say I wanted to get into a buy position. I click on buy, and the first thing I wanna point out is at the to towards the top of the screen, where it shows this 11355, this shows, if you're someone with multiple accounts, this is where you could scroll through and pick which account you want to use. So if I wanted to use this one or this one, but let's just say I wanted to use this one at the top right here. It'll show your account balance so you know which one you're using. Um, obviously, it'll show you if your P&L if you're in any positions right there. But then right under it is where you can see how many contracts you want to use. So let's say I wanted to just use one contract and get in with the market execution. I can just click buy right now and it'll get me in one contract in buys of NASDAQ. But then also where it shows that M, let's say you wanted to do a limit. You click the L a stop limit. You click the SL and a stop market. You click the SM. That's where you can go and place different pending orders. So let's just say I wanted to do a market execution. One thing you could also do too, which I think is so cool is if you scroll over um, twice, you'll see bracket target. I have the bracket targets on, but yours probably shows off. If it's off and you just click buy or sell, it's just going to get you in no stop loss, no take profit, no anything. 
What I really like about bracket orders is if you're someone who knows that you like using a 20 point stop loss on, on NASDAQ, for example, like I said, if you don't understand how to properly risk when it comes to how many points you're using or how many ticks, I have a different video. But if you don't know, one contract with a 20 point stop loss on NASDAQ, which is $5 a tick, which is $20 a point, and let's say you have a 20 point stop loss, that's $400 risk on one contract on NASDAQ mini. How do you know that? Once again, four ticks in one point. If it's $5 a tick, that equals $20 a point. If you have a 20 point stop loss, what's 20 times 20? That is going to be $400 risk. So let's say I wanted to risk $400. First off, let's go back to if you wanna put a stop loss and take profit. On here, you can see, you can set a bracket target based upon how many um, ticks you want. So let's say you want a 20 point stop loss, right? How many ticks would a 20 point stop loss be if you know that it's four ticks in one point. A 20 point stop loss would be 80 ticks. How do I know it's 80 ticks? Because think about it. If you have four ticks in one point and I have a 20 point stop loss, what's 20 times four ticks? 80 ticks. So on here, you can see the bracket target, which would be my take profit. Let's say I wanted to sit set at 80 ticks. My bracket stop, which is where I want my stop loss, is also 80 ticks, 20 point stop loss. So this would be going for a one to one risk to reward ratio. Risking 20 points to make 20 points is 80 ticks. So I could turn both of these on. What that's gonna do is now if I press that buy and you come over, I'm automatically gonna have a stop loss and take profit already there. How do I know it's there? Is once again, you see right here now, it shows the briefcase. It shows one because I'm in one position, but it shows the two under the shopping cart because I have a take profit and a stop loss set. Let's say I want to get rid of this stop loss and take profit. I could click on it and press cancel all. When I cancel all, you could see it now has no take profit or no stop loss and this is just you know running. Let's say you want to close this trade. One way you could do it is in the bottom right where it shows this hamburger icon. Click on that and it'll show cancel all. If I press cancel all, it's going to completely get me out of that position. Boom. Now you can see I'm not in the position anymore. One thing you can also see is on the actual graph, you can see the points where you get in because of those purple lines. So now let's go over one more example, but with the sell. Let's say I want to get into a sell position. Same type of thing. One contract market, but I want my bracket orders. It still shows 80. So let's say I wanted instead, I wanted 90. I can click this 90, 90. At the bottom also, you can see this bracket stop trailing. I like having it off. If you guys like it on, it's personal preference, but I like it off. So here you can see, I now have the bracket target, 90 points for my take profit and 90 points for my stop loss for a sell. All I'm gonna do now is press sell. And one way you guys can monitor this um, again is, you know, once again, you can see right there, shows my PL floating with that minus 20 right now. It shows minus one because I'm in, you know, one, like I'm, I'm gonna sell. It shows the two orders under the shopping cart because I have a stop loss and take profit. But now if we actually scroll over to the right, I actually really like this page. Why? Because what this shows is that blue line, that number, that's where you executed your sales at. That red number is price fluctuating up and down. On the left side of your screen, if you see, you know, very lightly is that blue like line that, that shows up and down. What that is, is showing you where your take profit and stop loss is. So if you scroll down, you see where that blue line ends. This is where your TP is because you're obviously in sales. So that's down here. If I scroll up to the top, up into here, this shows where your stop loss is. Let's say I wanted to move it down or up. I literally can click on it and just press this down arrow and it's gonna move my stop loss for me. Move it, move it, move it down. You can click, keep clicking this down arrow. And let's say I wanna set it right there for a slightly you know, smaller stop loss. I can just click this again, boom, stop loss is set. Now you can see I'm already up to $75, let's go. But you can see right there, stop loss is set. Now let's say I wanna move up this take profit, right? Go back down to the take profit and let's move it way up. So as I keep clicking this back up, you can see we're getting close to where the red is right here for the take profit. So I'm just gonna leave it like right here and see if we can have it hit RTP. You can still see I'm in that um, position, $25 up. So you can see the PL fluctuating up and down, but let's just move this up a little bit more just so we can hit it for the sake of the video. 
And all right, we'll hit it really quick right there. But you guys can see as soon as I went and put my take profit right there, price hit it and got me out of my position right away. I really enjoy doing bracket orders because you don't really have to think about it. A lot of you guys out there already have a predetermined how big your stop loss is gonna be before you even take the trade. So let's say like it's pre New York session and you know you're about to use a 20 point stop loss. You could go in and already set a bracket order for your stop loss and where you want your take profit. And all you have to do at that point is click buy when you're ready to execute. This is what it looks like to enter a buy or sell right from this page as well. Cause like I said, I actually really do like looking at, um, you know, looking at price kind of go up and down every tick um, right now. But let's just say, say we want to get into a sell again, right? We click sell. Shows you once again, blue is where you got into and red is where price currently is at. So you fluctuate. Of course, if you're in sales and the red is above, you're gonna be down money. If we actually end up below where that blue, which is where our entry is, will obviously be up. So you can watch it from this screen and monitor it like we usually do. You can see how you have the bracket order set, but like I said, if I wanted to like get rid of these, all I have to do is click on them, press cancel all. I'm still in my position, but I don't have the orders anymore. So I can let price kind of do what it wants. Something else you could do too that I personally don't use, but some of you guys might like is this button that you can see under the buy which says reverse position what this does is let's say i'm in sales and i want to enter buys right away not only can i click that it's going to get me out of my current position but it's going to flip it so if i'm in sales and i click reverse position double click it now not only did i get out of my sales but now i'm in buys Kind of cool, right? Reverse position. So you can see here, once again, I got in my reverse position. If we were in the sales, we'd be in profit, but because we flip in the buys, we're going down. If I wanted to hop out of this position, I would click on that hamburger icon, click cancel all twice, boom, I'm out. It is super easy to use. You can have your charts open right in front of you, and then when you're ready, have your bracket orders ready and click that buy or sell when the opportunity presents itself. If I take one more scroll over to the right, you can see the working orders. If I was in a position, it would obviously show it there, but you can see all the completed positions um, that you had so it's kind of like your trade history you can go over one more and you can see this as well but you don't really need this as much but you can see right here all your trade history you can see here active kind of you know showing where price is going up and down here you can see the graph and also where you could buy and sell shows the, the number of prices currently at the percentage of up and down it is of that day then also right here once again if you click on that zero you can you know change your PL to auto which would show the overall like that we're down 75 or you can click it on just your open positions and it'll just show if you're in a position or not if you guys need any more help we have 24 hour support ready to help you as well as plenty of other videos on our channel so make sure you subscribe join our discord ask whatever questions you need and we're here to help you on your journey to becoming a profitable trader but one quick recap before we end the video is download it on your app store make sure you have your login credentials from your email once you're in there go over the discord where you can see the list of the symbols to know exactly what you need to type in to get the pair you want to trade from there add it to your rhythmic buy and sell all you want add your bracket targets guys and have fun trading i appreciate you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video